Welcome back to GCTV. I'm Ray Maracy. And I'm Ella Howard. We've got a big episode for you today, so we'll get right into it. Starting off strong, our very own Greenup County cheerleaders are now three-time world champions and 17-time national champions. Greenup County cheer flew down to Orlando, Florida and competed for the famous white satin jackets. They're now back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back world champions. It was an emotional weekend for the cheerleaders. Through battling illness along with other talented teams in their competition, Greenup County came out on top to win their 17th national championship under head coach Candy Berry. Candy is a legend in the cheer world, and all the students here at GCHS are so proud of these girls. watch our GCHS cheerleaders at our boys and girls basketball games during the upcoming district tournament hosted here at the Greenhouse. Our teams have fought hard this season to improve with every game. Here's Ethan Gibson and Hayden Palmer with basketball. Thanks. The boys and girls basketball teams recently hosted a major district matchup against the Raceland Rams. The boys took care of business with a big win and improved to 4-0 in district play while the girls lost a close game. Both teams are having great seasons and have high hopes going into their district tournaments. Here are some highlights from the other night.
Thanks, boys. Let's keep it rolling with sports. What do you think, Ella? Sounds great. For our next sports story, we have wrestling. Here's one of the members of the wrestling team and one of our own very GCHS TV crew members, David Gray. Thanks, Ella. On February 2nd, the Greenham County wrestling team had a home wrestling match. It was senior night, and Logan Lettingham was recognized for all of his accomplishments. The wrestling team won six out of the seven varsity matchups against the Russell Red Devils. Thanks, David. Keeping it rolling with one more sports story, we have our archery team. They've had a great season and have placed well at all of their tournaments. Here's Brianna Van Sickle with the coverage. Thanks, Maria. On January 26th and 27th, Greenup County hosted the third annual Musketeer Shootout Tournament for the archery team. Greenup County High School won first place in their division, Colton Reem won first place for the boys, and Faith Nicely won first place for the girls. Here are some clips from the tournament. <laughs> Thanks, Brianna. That's all for sports, so let's get into some special topics that involve our community. The ACT Marketplace is up and running at GCHS. We'll send you off to Addison Irvin, Ava DP, and Sylvia Strickland with more. Thanks, girls. The ATC Marketplace is a class in our vocational school that offers students the opportunity to create products and learn the entire process of running the marketplace. Business has been booming in the marketplace from their wood designs to innovative sign making. Here are some of the clips of the marketplace in action. 
We're here with Ms. Thompson, our principal here at the ATC. So how many years has the ATC Marketplace been up and running? It's been going for three years. How is this class benefiting the students? It's a great class. Uh, it's a great program because it allows our students to have work-based learning opportunities in the classroom every day. So they're learning to make products, design products, create products, and then sell those products. Uh, and we have the marketplace in all of our pathways and programs. How can the people order these items? It's a great question. We have a website now for the ATC market. It allows you to order to customize the items that you want from t-shirts to cups to uh, cutting boards. There's all kinds of things um, as well as turkey calls and uh, you can use your credit card. So we're really excited about that. Our students have done an excellent job with that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks girls. Something that they didn't mention is that these girls have started their own business. That's right. You can purchase car flags for your school at any GCHS home basketball game. Come show them your support and pick up an awesome flag. Last but not least, some of our own very GCHS TV crew members were given the opportunity to film a commercial for a local business. Here's one of them who were given the chance to film. Elijah. Thanks, Ella. Recently, some of the GCHS TV students had the opportunity to film a commercial and experience the process of filming and editing an advertisement for a local business with Mr. Rudd. Here are some clips in, from the process as well as the commercial we were able to create. We're students in the GCTV class, and we just made a commercial. Yeah! Hey, we're Jim and Joe's Garage, family owned and operated for three generations. We've got a full service mechanic for when your check engine light comes on. Do body work and repair. We sell cars. And we have all kinds of great parts and accessories. Stop by and see us sometime here at Jim and Joe's. Thanks, Elijah. I think I saw that commercial at a basketball game on the Jumbotron. That's all for now, everyone. Thank you for watching this episode of GCTV, and, and we'll, we'll see you next time here on the farm. farm.